Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks video. If you guys haven't seen this thing before, then you didn't watch my stream. But anyway, we built this thing on stream a little while ago. Uh, after the stream had actually finished, I've extended it a little bit, because this used to be like half the size. Um, but now it looks, I think it looks actually pretty good. So, today what we're going to do is we're going to try and make it look a little bit better. We're going to put some little details on there. We're also going to try and be able to use this room. Because at the minute, we don't use this room at all. So, we're going to try and be able to get inside of here. We're going to delete a lot of these things because we kind of need them, but at the same time, we don't. But um, I'll show you guys what they do in a second. Anyway, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? <laughs> Alright, so I want to show you guys what those things in the side actually do. Now, if we go inside here... And we grab the vehicle, then we spawn it in. You'll see what happens. Boing! <laughs> so, apparently when you put pivots in things, you don't have to power them or anything, but they make them a little bit more buoyant. And that is definitely something that we needed. Because, as it stood, uh, the buoyancy that we had, this bit wasn't actually off the ground at all. So, um, that sort of fixed a few issues for us. Anyway, let's go ahead and get back inside this little menu. We're going to be deleting a bunch of them and kind of replacing them. So we're going to delete this entire side of these things. There we go. Go to the back. We need to do a similar... Actually, the bits at the back can stay where they are. That bit's fine. Uh, but essentially, we're going to have to get a bunch of them, put them in the front. Here we go. And um, yeah, we're going to have to hide them underneath the bed because otherwise it's going to be a bit weird. But um, yeah, we need a few of them. So one, two. We should be doing this on both sides. Give me a second. One, two, three, four, and then probably like four on this side. There we go, and that should be good, I think. Four of them. Yeah, that should be fine. Right, so, now we're going to do this underneath the beds, and the beds are just there. That's fine. Um, and realistically, I kind of want this to look a little bit better. Why is this bit like that? Why is this bit like that? I don't know. All right, if we deleted all of those, and then we replace them with these, is that going to look okay? On the outside, I mean? Yeah, I think it is. All right, cool. Let's paint these bits, little bits back in. These bits, little bits. There we go. And something like that. I can't remember how I actually had this. I'm pretty sure it was just two. Yeah, it was. Uh, so we're going to leave that like that. That's fine. On the inside, this is obviously going to change color because at the minute it's all blue. And I don't really want it to be blue. So we're going to get rid of a bunch of this. Get rid of a bunch of this too. There we go. Paint all of that in. That's awesome. Nice. Uh, so we do actually need a way to get in here. I'm thinking we'll use a ladder and we'll have the way in just be somewhere up here. In fact, right there. That'll be fine. All right, cool. So delete that piece. Grab ourselves a ladder. Here we go. Put it right there and drag down. Oh, that's actually awesome. It fits. It fits perfectly fine. All right, delete that piece and also delete that piece. And obviously we want to put these in. There we go. We'll have a wall right there. We'll have a wall. Oh, we can't actually grab that piece. There we go. A wall right there as well. Awesome. Yeah, that's not bad at all. That is not bad at all. Bosh and bosh. Um, that doesn't mean we kind of need to delete this because we need a ladder on the top. Yeah, we also need a hatch too. Hold on, let's grab ourselves a hatch. Sliding hatch. Yes. We're going to go ahead and slam that on right... I think right there. Pretty sure. And then if we do this, that's all fine. Go ahead and paint this piece. There we go. Uh, and in fact, actually, realistically, we should paint that piece too. But we're not going to. It's going to stay. Oh, no. We will. There we go. Um, okay, good. So I'm going to quickly jug this, this color. We're going to jug it white. We're going to jug that side white. And I'm also going to delete this entire piece right here. We're going to flip it upside down. And we're going to do this across to there. We're going to do the same thing on this side. I just want this room to look nice. Actually, we're not going to put anything there. Yeah, that'll work. That looks okay. All right, okay. Now that all that's done, let's go ahead and paint the floor. Although I don't really want to climb up in the bed, so we're going to we're gonna actually raise the floor. Here we go. We're going to raise the floor to right there. That's probably high enough. That, that looks like it'll be good. Yeah, that does look like it'll be good. All right, cool. Back to paint. We're going to paint the floor cream, because I always do. We're going to paint the bed red, I think. Yeah, we'll have red there, red there. And red, obviously, on the inside. Oh, not that, though. Not that. Hold on. Paint this piece like so. Good. Yeah, that looks all right. So this is actually brown. I didn't paint it red at all. Um, and I meant to paint it brown, so that's good. 
Uh, what is actually in front? Nothing. Okay, we don't want to go there then. Uh, we have all of this horrible stuff on the roof. Um, I'm thinking we cover it up via this and this. Hopefully that doesn't look too weird. It does look a little strange, not gonna lie. It does look a little bit strange, but that's okay. Anyway, right, we're gonna go ahead and put this right there. No, nope, right there, good. We're gonna turn this around, put it right there. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side, bosh, and turn this around, and bosh, there we go. All right, that doesn't look too bad at all. Uh, that means we got a bedroom on this side. We've actually got a bedroom on this side. We need to delete all of these. Uh, we need to, we need to delete all of these. Get out of here. There we go. Um, and essentially, we just need to put this piece here. And we need to put this piece all the way down there. And we need to delete this and put this here. All right, cool. So now, oh God, hold on. We need to paint this. Paint that piece right there. Paint this all the way along, all the way there. Okay, is that the same on both sides? Indeed it is. And we're good. So if we go ahead and spawn this in. It still bounces, which is fine. Uh, and it does keep us out of the water a little bit, which is good. And everything's fine. Yeah, awesome. Okay, so now that we've actually done that, we can now actually start up our boat. We can move. We can actually move. There we go, nice. And uh, we should be able to get into the bedroom places, I think. Should be able to get into the bedroom places, I think. <laughs> Let's have a little look inside here, see if we can get in and out. All right, nice. So it's actually pretty empty in here. This thing in the roof doesn't look too weird. And the beds are uh, actually allow us to work. That's good. That's pretty nice. Okay, so we do need to figure out more things to put in there. But I'm not entirely sure what I want to put in there just yet. Um, but yeah. Nice, that's epic. All right, so I'm actually thinking we will change the color of the deck back here. Uh, and we'll actually put in some seats because why not, I guess. Yeah, we'll actually change the whole color of the deck down here. So we'll actually just do this. Boop, there we go. Awesome, that doesn't change the inside. That's fine, I think. Yeah, that'll be okay. Uh, let's go ahead and put in some benches and stuff. Um, delete that piece. Do this. There we go. Delete that right there. Put that in. Put that in there. Uh, delete this as well, and voila, we have ourselves a little bench. Delete that, put this in. Okay, awesome. Uh, and actually, I think I'm gonna paint this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually paint this like this. There we go. And that's like a weird little bench. I think that'll work though. That looks like it might be okay. Good. Uh, with that being said though, we do then need to put seats on it. So let's go ahead and grab a bunch of these, turn them around, whack them in. And that should be good. Yeah, it is. That's awesome. Nice. Um, I do kind of want it to be a little bit higher, though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. We're going to put that right there. Um, we're going to do this as well. Okay. And this whole inside right here is going to be brown. Uh, and the other side is going to be white. Yeah, that works. That looks okay to me. That looks fine. Okay, so I guess the other thing that we can actually put in here is like a little mini table kind of thing. We're going to go ahead and build it like this. I'm sure this will look kind of cool maybe in the end. Uh, but essentially, we're going to put it to there so that we can still get around it to get inside the cabin. Um, and we'll just grab some windows. Yeah, some big old windows. These ones. And we'll just whack that in right there. There we go. There we go. And there we got a table. Nice. I think that's all right. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Uh, so we've got a table now, we've got a seating area, we've got a way to get into the bedrooms, which is actually pretty awesome. I like this little area. Um, what else do we need though? I'm not sure. Alright, okay, I've just had another mini idea, I guess. Um, I want to add some sort of railings, maybe not like proper railings, but we're going to go ahead and delete the tops of these pieces. That's good. Um, we're going to delete this piece right here, this piece right here, and we obviously need some on the front too, so this piece right here. Good. We're then going to replace those with these boxes. No, actually, you know what? Fill all of those back in. Every single one of those. Good. We're going to grab ourselves a pipe. And we're just going to work with the pipe. So, go ahead and put this here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay. One, two. Actually, just do two. No, three. Three, three, three. Do three. There we go. Three. Okay. One, two, three, four. No, we'll go down. We'll go down, that's fine. Three, one, two, three. One, two, three. 
one, two, three, and one, two, three. There we go. Okay, so that's actually fantastic. That's going to be good. Then we need a rope thing. Okay, a rope thing. Uh, rope. I just want the rope one. Here we go. So we're going to put the rope on top of here. It does look a little bit poopy, the fact that it's just a massive block. Uh, but that's kind of all we've got right now, so we're going to have to stick with it. And then we obviously want to put the ropes together. Here we go. Bosh, 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 and bosh. Okay, awesome. Uh, okay, good, good. Nice, nice, nice. There we go. All right, cool. So uh, we got one more. We got one more. There we go. See what that looks like. If it doesn't look very good, we can change it. But I think it'll look okay. Yeah, actually, I do like that. That looks pretty nice. Obviously, these ropes do nothing. But, like, that is pretty cool. I like it. I need to paint that piece now that I've seen it. I think this might be a little bit weird. But I'm actually going to keep the front bit kind of open. We're not going to put any, uh... We're not going to put any, um... Wires. Wires? Lines. Ropes. We're not going to put any ropes across here. Uh, because I don't think we really need it. Not really. I kind of want to keep this open. So we will. Uh, but that's actually pretty cool. So, oh, they could go to here too. They could totally, yeah, let's do that. There we go. But that might look a little bit weird. Um, but that's fine. That is actually completely fine. Right, so we now got bedrooms on both sides. We've got a seating area at the back with a table. We've repainted this piece. I actually kind of want to repaint the whole boat, to be honest. Uh, I want to I wanna repaint the whole boat frantic red. We're going to keep it frantic red. There we go. Bosh that all in. Nice. That actually looks pretty cool. Uh, and the deck itself is going to be... Uh, I don't know about that color. This color? I don't know. I don't really know what kind of color deck we want. Green? Green looks a bit weird. We won't do green. We'll do this color. Uh, we'll have the same color. Actually, no. We'll have a different color there. That looks pretty good. I don't mind that at all. Uh, we've got this little weird shape here. That looks pretty good. Um, I'm actually pretty pleased with this. I wanted to do a little bit more work to it just to get it a little bit more done because we haven't touched it since we built it. Um, but this, so far, is looking pretty good. Uh, if you want to know the engine setup in this thing, we've got two medium engines, one above the other, and they're both going into a single gearbox right here, which is actually running at three to two uh, on both sides. We've got the same on both sides. Is this speed? This is fuel tank, right? This is battery. This is speed. Okay, so what we're going to do now then is we're going to work out what speed we go with this gear ratio, which is currently 3 to 2. Then we can change it around if we need to. Oh, yeah, I'm actually really pleased with this. This color actually looks a little bit better. I will look different for you guys on your screens because mine's a little bit darker than yours, I guess. Uh, it might not be, but, you know, uh, my middle screen seems to be darker than the rest of my screens. Anyway, uh, this is actually looking pretty nice. I like it. If we go around the table, which we can fit around and close the door, we do need to add some like screens and stuff inside of here to make it look a little bit better. Uh, but essentially, for the speed... Oh... Let's go ahead and speed it up. There we go. Oh. oh. There we go. Right, 21. That's not bad. How about we change that a little bit? Okay, so that actually goes around 22, which is fine, but the engine sounds awful. It's like revving up and then dying and revving up and dying. Uh, we're going to go to 9 to 5. We'll see if we go any faster than 22. I'm not sure whether we will or not. I'm not sure. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. All right, let's go in here. Close this up. Go here. Go. All right. Starts off slowly because we got less torque. Alright, get ourselves going in a straight line so we can build up speed. We're at 17. The engines sound a lot nicer, but we're only going 19. You know what, though? We're probably more fuel efficient, and it doesn't sound so harsh. So I think I'm actually going to keep it like that. Yeah. I might want to change it where these, um, these exhausts come out, too. Because, to me, that's really annoying, the fact that they come out like that. But, um, yeah. I guess this is a good time to check out the lights, too. We don't have very much light on the front deck, but that's completely fine. We do have lots of lights everywhere else, though, so that's epic. Uh, and we don't actually have any spotlights yet, so we do need those. Um, but this thing is actually looking pretty good. I like it. Might have too many wires everywhere, though. We got loads of wires everywhere. I guess we should have tried this in the waves on the stream. This is actually pretty good. This is actually really, really good. No, we did try it in the waves on the stream. 
Um, however, making it longer has made it a little bit more stable, I think. Obviously, the, uh, the propellers don't stay in... Oh, God. The propellers don't stay in the water very often. But, um... It works fine. It is actually very, very stable. And is... Yeah, I actually like this. This is pretty good. What's our battery situation? We don't actually have any, uh, any generators right now. So, um... It's a little bit poopy, but, um... That's okay. That's okay. I'm not too sure what else I want to add to this thing. Okay, so I was just looking at, like, a few little pictures of these things. And on some of them, they do actually have, like, a... I'm gonna go with a pivot. Uh, right here. It might look really bad. It might not. We'll see what happens. Uh, but essentially, we have a pivot that is gonna go on the deck right here. We're then gonna add pipes straight across the pivot. Okay, so we're gonna go with pipes upwards. Quite high, I guess. Yeah, really high. In fact, really, really high. Let's go upwards. And then we'll just add a fluid thingamabobby. A fluid... Yeah, here we go. Fluid thingamabobby right there. Okay, and then somewhere on here, wherever that's going to fall to, let's go with, like, right here. That should be good. There we go. All right, make it white and put it right there. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully it works. Uh, oh, yeah, it does work. Yeah, that's not bad. I'm actually going to get rid of some of the ropes too because um, at the minute, they're a bit too many. There's so many ropes. We're going to get rid of these ones, that one and that one. And we're also going to... We're going to keep the rest. We're going to keep the rest of the ropes. I like ropes. Uh, but yeah, essentially, that's not bad. What we've done there is actually pretty cool because there would be like a sail kind of on that piece. And as long as it attaches every time, I like it. That's good. Okay, so yeah, uh, if you guys have any ideas on what else we can actually add to this thing, I'm thinking maybe some firefighting equipment or, in fact, just equipment in general. Because at the moment, we don't have any. Um, having sails would be quite nice, <laughs> I suppose. Um, but I'm not entirely sure what else to actually attach to this thing. This video is more of a, uh, a kind of, remember this is a thing <laughs> kind of video. Um, I wasn't sure what else to do with it though, so if you guys have any cool ideas on what we can change on this thing or add to this thing or or whatever, I guess let me know in the comments down below and uh, I guess I'll see what we can do. But anyway, thank you guys very much for watching, hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.